Opie and Anthony. Gonna pull us all up. You treat them like the, you know good people. You don't talk down to them. Hey, f- you, Jesus Christ, shut up, you idiot! You're such a loser. Hey, f- you, what a retard! You're high. What are you stupid? Hey, f- you, the Opie and Anthony show. 1027 WNEW. Okay, faggot, what's next? They, uh, they did the Gene Simmons. <laughs> they put <it> in- <laughs> <laughs> hey, we made something out of that. Yeah, well, why not? That little ass kid. This is Al Pacino, and that was Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> So we got to get to this tape. Yeah, so they, yeah, they publish the names of the guys that got caught yeah. the hookers, and we decide, hell, let's let's call some of these people right. at home and uh, talk to them. Uh, ben, we might be stopping the tape as we go, so okay. here we go. Hello? Hello, Steve. Uh, I know he isn't. Well, this is Opie and Anthony. Uh, we got some real interesting news oh, for you. Oh, yeah. You know where he is? Uh, Ma, hold on. Talk to my mother. Wait, who are you? Steve. And is Steve your brother? No, it's uh, my dad. Oh, 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 did you hear what happened to him this weekend? Oh, God. There's a radio station. I heard your dad got uh, caught with a hooker this weekend. What? Yeah. Radio station. My dad got caught with a hooker. Hello? Hi. Hi. Is Hi. this Mrs. Yeah? How are you? Good. How are it's you? Opie and Anthony deal. We got you on the air. Oh, boy. Is your husband the same Steve that got caught with a hooker this weekend? The what? Is your husband the same Steve that got cut, caught with a hooker this weekend. The guy caught with a hooker. Uh, no, we're not playing. Uh, I can't hear him. Let me read this to you, all right? Steve. Yeah. All right, check this out. Pub cops hooks 13 in undercover sting, and it lists all the people that got caught with uh, having sex with a hooker. Where is this? And let me see. Uh, Baloney. No, no, it isn't. It's Steve. Steve. Where? What's your husband's middle name? Who is this? Does your husband have the middle initial C? Who is this? Is he, is, how old is your husband? Is yeah. your husband 31 years old? Uh, my, my husband oh. wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, oh I think we're breaking the news to you here. 31-year-old Steve. Right. Okay, okay, listen, what paper? What's your husband's middle what name? What paper? Uh, <laughs> why are you laughing? Your freaking husband yeah. got called with a hooker and you're laughing? laughing? I, you're your obviously was trying to get a Hummer. You're obviously not satisfying him uh, at night. He went out to get some nookie. <laughs> you didn't see you didn't no. see the uh, Boston Herald? No. I hate to bring this to oh your attention, God. but page 16 of the Boston Herald, it lists, it lists your husband's name uh, with 12 other guys. Yeah. And what's his middle What's his middle name? I don't know. I'm not giving any information. Oh, this is a cockamamie story. Oh, 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 man. He's got some explaining to do. <laughs> this, this is great, though. Well, he was trying to pay for it over the weekend. No. Man, just talking to you for a few minutes, I, I, have, I could see why your husband would want to go to a hooker. <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> really? But now, do you satisfy your man in bed or what? Who is this? Opie and Anthony have no problem telling you who I am. Really? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Can I we call back when crank. Steve gets home? What time is Steve getting home? I know this is a crank. And, you know, hey, hey, guys, you know? It's not a crank. What time is Steve getting home? No. If you, if you think it's a crank, pick up the Boston Herald and look at page 16. You're going to be real surprised. It says, no. Stephen C. 31 years old. No. Was, no. Uh, well, there you go. Oh you, hey, if you guys are sitting there looking at the paper, what day? It doesn't say. I told yeah, you. Yeah, it doesn't say the day. It's a hope. Why? It's what a baloney. It might have been. Uh, it's a lot of bullshit. It, it, because my husband would never. Oh, oh no. You're a naive woman. Oh, my God. I'm glad we broke the news to you. Have a great day. This poor bastard's in trouble when he gets home today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that is so brutal. I, I haven't heard that in years. I forgot all about that. Ooh. <laughs> Which proves to me, again, Opie, that you are evil. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear her when it was like the middle initial was right? The age of that. Oh, boy, they know my husband. He wouldn't do something like that. Oh, wow. I'm surprised he didn't hunt us down and try to kill us. That is interesting why he didn't try to kill us. Don't say that. A radio station came by. Well, you know, he was kind of probably angry when he got home and saw his wife standing there with the Herald that she probably <laughs> sent the kid out to get. What is this? It was me. It was me. It me. You are brutal. You when are you, that. I know, but I just I wasn't saying stuff like I hate to bring this to your attention. Page sixteen of the Herald. You hate it so much, but let me give you the page number. 
<laughs> Obviously, you aren't satisfying your husband. Yeah, and, and, I, and, 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 and guys is plain evil. Just listening to you, I could tell why no. he was paying for it. <laughs> How many more insults could you fit in? What to that call? It was all chopped up because we had a uh, cut out a lot of crap. Yeah, some people are saying what was edited out of that call oh, it was the uh, call just, letters of the radio station. Just we the radio station used to broadcast on that now does phony radio. <laughs> yeah, that radio station's out dead to us, so we don't need to give them publicity. There you go, Dunsky. All wow, right, that was fun. I like that one. <laughs> Brutally fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at the Chad from Cleveland. Here's my Dan from Hoboken impression. Hi, I'm Dan from Hoboken on Instant Feedback. And he printed it. It's got to be Dan from Hoboken. <laughs> Good impression. I'm <laughs> doing email impressions. <laughs> wow. That guy was excellent. <laughs> How bad has it gotten? Blue Knot Joe, telling that kid that his father was caught with a hooker might have been more brutal than the canned laughter you guys used on that guy. Uh, that Jewish guy from Hogan's Hero after he told the Nazi uh, camp story. Oh, yeah. What's his name? You know what I sent Robert for? Robert By the way, speaking of cringe, and it should be um, in my mailbox uh, any day now. Young Lady Chatterley's Lover. No. I, got, I sent for the DVD. It's out on DVD. And once we get that... We get uh, Devin in here, the older brother from Home Alone. You, you've seen the Home Alone movies, right? Yeah. You know Devin, the uh, he Buzz. played the older brother Buzz. Buzz. Yeah. Played Macaulay's Buzz. haircut. Right, older right. brother Buzz. He's a friend of the show, <clears throat> and we found out that his father is the guy in Young Lady Chatterley's Lover, the the gardener that plows it to her <laughs> in the movie, and he's mortified by this. And how do you find I, this out? He kind of. I think he. I don't know. You went on the. Yeah, I went on the internet movie. He said who his father was, and oh, that he okay. was also an actor, and he mentioned um, well, Hunt for Red October, one of those sub movies. Yeah. And, and I go, oh, so I punch it up on the internet search. movie database, <laughs> and there's young lady Chatterley's love. I go, was he in this? He goes, oh no. Not only was he in it, he was on the poster. He's the guy. He's the head guy that's that's railing young lady Chatterley. <clears throat> Who, by the way, young lady Chatterley, is Richard Belzer's wife now. <laughs> so it just gets twisted. So uh, we're going to get some really bad audio from this movie. Invite Devin back into the studio. Yeah, here to then have to listen <laughs> and maybe even set it up on no. the video screen so he can watch his father go to, go to town on young lady <laughs> Chatterley. He's oh never my. seen the film. But yes, yeah. the other goes, no, I will not watch it. Oh, he goes, he doesn't talk to his father about it. We punched up the publicity photos, and his father's got the big 70s porno mustache, and he's like wrapped around this chick, and Devin just looking went, ah, oh, I cannot, I cannot watch this. So uh, I'll be getting that. So l stay tuned and look forward to Cringe Radio with Devin. Yeah, that'll be a lot of dad. fun. Uh, Manny, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing? I just want to say that was the most effed up thing you guys have ever said to well, anyone. Why? You broke up a happy marriage. That you know? a happy marriage is a guy that's going out paying for a hooker? No, <laughs> that guy's listen, right. listen. But listen, not not everybody has the option of having a threesome like you, or <laughs> All right, Manny. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth, what's up? Hi, Anthony. I just want to know, is uh, UPS delivering your Lady uh, Chatterley tape? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because you may never see it, hon. UPS has been very good lately. Oh, really? Yeah. You still, you, did you ever get those tickets? Uh, no, I never. I, I did get the tickets to the show. This is going a, 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 a ways back. Um, I ordered tickets for Blue Man Group. Oh. And, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. I, I said, <laughs> um, I'll get them through UPS. And um, they they showed up. Two weeks after the show, <laughs> and I ordered them about two weeks before the show. Uh, no matter how much I called and begged and pleaded, um, nothing. I got no tickets. And then this ratty, like ripped up envelope came to my house with the tickets in them. And the thing you had to go through to get a, a, um, your money back from UPS for screwing up the delivery was ridiculous. So I just, you know, ate the tickets. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't like Ticketmaster where you could get uh, the service charge back. Or, uh... Yeah, I should have gone to the show and yelled something out. Yeah, that's right. My that would have worked back. better. All right, Elizabeth. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, this is Brian Regan. You want to send back your Blue Man Group tickets? I'm going to need another weight in the girth. <laughs> Send back the tickets. Send them back. Marshall, what's up? Put him in a taste. Was that the same guy that you spoke to about the, the, the little kid about Santa Claus? Oh, another bad one. What are you talking about? I, <laughs> what is he talking about? Another there? bad one. Oh, The stop one it. that you explained that Santa Claus doesn't really exist. I don't know what you're talking about. Opie um, called up 
punching out. Actually, a guy called up our show. And this just proves how evil Opie truly is. No, uh, it, this never happened. Right. Uh, it never happened. A guy never called up the show and uh, got mad at Opie for stating that perhaps there was not a Santa Claus around Christmas time. And maybe children were listening and shouldn't hear this. Uh, so he called up and Opie uh, talked with him and asked him if his son had heard uh, him say this. And the, the father said, no, thank God. I turned the radio off. So um, we actually uh, had talked the father into putting the son on the phone with Opie. I don't know. What, yeah, it did not happen. I have no. Oh, oh, really? I don't remember. Perhaps that. I could pull something out of this uh, little remember. folder full of DVDs and I, and play it for the people and Frank. I don't remember the this. people because and Frank and Frank. Hello, this is and Frank, Frank Caliendo here? being a person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know Anne Frank was here today. And, and no, Anne no, Frank. Anne Frank. Oh, and Frank. And hey, uh, John Madden pretend to be Anne Frank, and I'm in the closet somewhere. <laughs> because this is we, every time uh, we play one thing that shows how evil Opie truly is. There's at least five other things we could play at any no. given moment that is even worse. Stop! Oh, the how about the old lady dead? What the old lady's dead? Oh, oh, Bill's dead when the old lady called. Well, that's another favorite. All right, I'll, I'll. You know what? What? I'll I'll fess up to Bill's dead, but I ain't fessing up to the Santa. Santa thing. Claus, come on. Uh, Where you tell the little kid and he, he you want to hear screams and cries. You want to hear something really brutal, Frank? Yeah, Daddy wants to hear <laughs> an old lady, really old lady. People hate when they hate me after they hear this. I just got to say this happened uh, many, many years ago. <laughs> just like the last thing we played <laughs> That's right. with the guy who we fratted on him many years ago. Andrew. Yeah. You can tell by the highness in my voice. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Look at how high Opie's voice was in Boston. I was just a kid back then. It was very agitated. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> And this old lady called the radio station uh, while we were doing our show and uh, wanted to talk to her friend Bill. Yeah. And it went down like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Bill. Who's this? Pat. Hi, Pat. How are you? Uh, now, this is the wrong Bill. Uh, well, Pat, I have some bad news. What? Uh, Pil uh, uh, Bill died today. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Tragic. Tragic. Who's this? Oh, he was in a car accident today. Oh, no. <laughs> Who is this? this? John. John? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't believe it. Yeah. I was just talking to him. I know. What <laughs> happens? When did it happen? Uh, this afternoon. Where? On the highway. Oh, God, love them. Yeah, big, big, big pile up. Here it comes. Well, be sure and give the kids my condolences. <laughs> oh, <laughs> enough. Okay. Well, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I was just talking to you. <laughs> My God. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All of a sudden, she turns into like an Abbott and Costello episode. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, jeepers. <laughs> jeepers, creepers. See, that's awful, right? Yeah. That's uh, not quite as awful as telling a kid there's uh, no Santa. Well, that never happened yet. So did. <laughs> you know what this feels like right now? Right now this feels like when they do, like they have an all new episode of Friends, but it's just like little flashbacks. You got a flashback every so often. Well, we kind of ended the Opie is evil theme. And, and I like uh, examples of how yeah. evil Opie truly can be. We like breaking out this stuff from time to time. We only had to film the ins and outs to stuff. Right. <laughs> it's just a flashback and they get a whole new episode out yeah. of all episodes. Exactly. Remember when this happened, Op? Yeah, Fade. I remember the time. <laughs> All right, well, ow. Here you go. Remember the Kreskin conversation? This is a I was just in a very bad place uh, this particular day. <laughs> <laughs> it was the festive holiday season, though. I know, I hate Christmas, though. F Santa. Mm. Christmas uh, blows. Everyone knows it. No one's willing to admit it, though. The negotiation that goes on to get this kid on the goddamn phone. 
And then he starts Pro- promises that hope he makes. And then the kid is uh, trying to measure the uh, the floor. Like a little kid. <laughs> like, a, what, like a little kid would do. What's he doing? He's, you know, measuring the floor. You know how kids do dopey things? He's hammering on the sofa. <laughs> you know, kids just do dopey <laughs> things that don't make sense. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. He's rolling a wheel across the carpet. You know what? Kid. If it makes anyone feel better, uh, this kid is now 20 years old. Stop it. And he's fine. <laughs> he is Are you going to do a follow-up call with little Oprah? We said, well, it affected me deeply. <laughs> right. Hi, this is Gene Simmons, and it affected me. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, you want to hear this in? Yes, absolutely. So, uh, what? Uh, we, we were uh, we were discussing Santa. Yeah, and how it must blow for parents that they oh, don't that get the credit. It. Right. That was it. I don't know because I don't have kids, but I, you know, working hard to get the kids all everything they they want for Christmas, and then not getting the credit, you know, and then Santa that would bother me a little bit. And Santa gets this imaginary guy gets the credit. Ah, right, that's what you said. And the guy got pissed now. Right. So then he calls up to complain. <laughs> I can't play this dude. A while ago. Yeah. And uh. All right, hold on. I, I screwed up the whole thing. <laughs> you just don't want to play it, huh? You just don't want to play it. Come on. All right, hold on. Don't screw it up. Hold on. Meanwhile, in a playback <laughs> device that works. All right, here it is. Okay. Buddy. Uh, yeah, I was just listening to your station a little while ago. Yeah. And uh, I had my three-year-old son with me, and uh, you, know, you guys are putting down Santa, the Santa Claus thing, and oh, it's just your parents and all that. Yeah. And uh, you know, I was I I like I love Opie and Anthony, you know, and I am a faithful listener, but uh, I had to change the station. Oh, that's okay. You're, you know, you're doing parenting, that's called, when you change the stage. Yeah. Look at Anthony. Yes, parenting. Hey, that's okay. That's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Of course. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. I, mean, I, I detect that you're a little pissed at us because we just said that there's no Santa Claus on the air. Well, it would be one thing if it was, you know, a little later at night and there wouldn't happen to have been someone's kid listening, you know? Dude, I just saved you uh, the, uh, the hassle. Now you could get the credit for all those presents you bought for him. <laughs> Did we traumatize him? No, you didn't, actually. He uh, changed the station in time where he didn't pick up on it. Hey, can I um uh, say something here in my defense, Anthony? Uh, good luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I remember this now. Oh, you do? Yes. <laughs> I had no intention uh, at this point in the phone call. Yeah. To uh, do what we, do what ended up happening. Really? What made you uh, all of a sudden the think bitch, that would be a great idea? The bitch wife in the background that you're about to hear oh. really set me off. And then, all right. I, then I kind of, uh, my mind went blank. So that's how you rationalized it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't going to do what I, you know, what happened? Sure. Where he didn't pick up on it because he was busy doing something else. Hey, what's your uh, son's name? It's Jeffrey. Can I uh, talk to him real fast? Uh, why? What are you going to say? I just wanted to say hi to him. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Uh, how stupid is this guy? Very stupid. You if he's a think, faithful listener, he should know where you're going. You got to think if you were listening to this in the car that day, you're you're begging the guy not to put his kid on the phone, right? This blows your point, though. I know. I yeah. just realized that. <laughs> blows your point. <laughs> the lady didn't start bitching yet. She didn't bitch yet. Yet you want to get the kid on the wood? You want to talk stocks? <laughs> and you know my come on. And you know my way of thinking. I just blew my whole defense. You blew your whole defense. <laughs> You don't want to talk to the kid. You want to talk to the kid and tell him, and thanks for calling me on it, Anthony. I was praying that no one else would notice. Oh, stop it. It would have been 20 instant feedback. At uh, least. Well, here, here we go. Where he didn't pick up on it because he was busy doing something else. Hey, what's your uh, son's name? It's Jeffrey. Can I uh, talk to him real fast? Uh, why? What are you going to say? I just wanted to say hi to him. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> See, what's happening here is Opie's setting him up, and the dad is right. not a real... He's not the brightest brick in the closet there, and... Uh, <laughs> but a tool. <laughs> How stupid is this guy? Come on. He didn't, actually. He I changed the station in time where he didn't pick up on it, because he was busy doing something else. Hey, what's your uh, son's name? It's Jeffrey. Can I uh, talk to him real fast? Uh, why? What are you going to say? I just wanted to say hi to him. You're not going to say anything bad, are you? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. All right, where's Jeffrey? Hey, I'll, I'll get him. He don't, he don't really talk much on the phone. But... <laughs> What's your wife saying in the background? Uh, oh, she wasn't too happy about it when I told her. She wasn't listening, but... Uh, wait, wait. wait. Uh, chill out. Oh, chill out. 
Okay, hey, Jeffrey, somebody wants to talk to you on the phone. Those guys are listening to on the radio. I'm measuring floor first. He's, he's, he's got a measuring tape. He said he's measuring the floor first. Hey, <laughs> the kid. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Little cute kid around Christmas time. I measure floor first. He's got to measure the floor. He's a kid, you know? Yeah. And I hope he's ready to break his little his little heart, L-I-L, heart. But, but the kid's now 20, Anthony, right? Oh, sure. <laughs> Measure the floor. <laughs> what he's got to do? I got, I, got, I got to paint the chair. Hey, I'm a kid, you know? I got to put a towel on uh, on my back and make believe I'm Superman. I'm a superhero. So now I got to put on a cape. I got to fly around the house a little bit. And then I'm going to jump and do somersaults on the couch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That was all before OP wrecks my life. Right. <laughs> oh, you mean the phone? Oh, oh, I'll stop doing this important stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I've got to measure the floor. i got that pencil in. I had that pencil in for this time period in my little daily planner. Look, I crap myself here, and then I measure the floor. A little Fisher Price planner. <laughs> if I go to the phone now, it's going to back me up. It's going to mess up my schedule. A little a little kid schedule. Look, can I acknowledge to everyone that I know there's nothing you can say and play this, the tape. I know this is very wrong. I realize that now. Nothing you can say. <laughs> People make mistakes, right? Yes. Right, gang? <laughs> gang. Right, guys? <laughs> you hear me on this one, right? Good luck. <laughs> Good luck defending yourself. We can all think back to the mistake we made, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Not like this. Listening to on the radio? I'm measuring floor first. He's, he's, he's got a measuring tape. He said he's measuring the floor first. And your wife is mad at me for, for doing that? Uh, I, be, I better talk to him and then smooth it over. Okay, well, here here he is, okay? I'll give him the phone, but I don't know if he'll talk. <laughs> You're so bad, man. Oh, she didn't like us? All right, give me the phone. <laughs> Give me the phone. If there was any restraint, it had just been blown right away, right there. Because Obi's like, all right, this bitch didn't like what we said. Okay, give me the kid. If I could reach in and smack him, I'd do it. Come on, Ed. I know what you were all about. What was back then, though? Yeah, it's, weird. it's a long time ago. What did I do to you today? Right. Man? Get him on the phone. I'm measuring the floor. This better be the general contractor. <laughs> I don't have time to be talking to radio guys. <laughs> Got my tool belt on. My, <laughs> I'm my his little tool belt. My Fisher Price tool. <laughs> my Fisher Price tool belt. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm building a spaceship. Okay, he's building a little spaceship with my Bob the Builder uh, little hard hat. Got a little plastic saw. Yeah. Kid safe. <laughs> Just doing some work around the house with Dad. He's measuring uh, the floor. Dad got... has the real tool belt and the real hat on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, my Dad's build, building a deck, maybe. And the kid's got the little the little blocks with the... He's got to get the round peg in the round hole and the hammer it away. Ding, 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 ding. Sure. <laughs> right. So for that, you got to measure the floor. Of course. But here's Opie wanting to uh, disturb his little playtime. <laughs> get him on the phone. Tell him something very important for a three-year-old. <laughs> For for doing that, oh, I, be, I better talk to him and then smooth it over. Okay, well here here he is. Okay, I'll give him the phone, but I don't know if he'll talk. All right. Okay, here he is. <laughs> oh, Jeffrey, listen, listen to this guy on the radio. He wants to talk to you. Oh Jesus. Jeffrey, <laughs> take it. Yeah. Take okay, it. Let me, let me get him on my lap. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a minute. <laughs> well, he's very rambunctious. <laughs> he props him up. I'm getting a new Regan to that. But you ever been three years old? You ever been three years old measuring the floor? Just measuring the floor. Can't come to the phone right now. I'm uh, measuring the floor. The uh, floor with a tape measure on it. <laughs> well, I guess everyone gets the idea of what happens. So, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Finish it. Well, we'll play it after commercials. Stop it. Come no on. way. That'll kill people. Just continue. He's just ready to get up on <laughs> Mummy's lap. No, he's not. But the big phone. You know how big that phone must look <laughs> by his little head? Why are you making this worse? He's big. He's got his little hands wrapped around his big phone thing. He Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Christmas time. He's so excited. Santa's coming. Will you stop? Right. The kid doesn't even know what the radio is, though, at that point, though, right? No. Uh, hey, we got Jeffrey on the line here, Anthony. Yes, Jeffrey. Yeah, hey, OB. Hey. Thanks, dick. <laughs> now all I do is measure the prison floor to see how many times they take it in the can. Thanks. <laughs> you can send them to prison. 
That's amazing. He was, what, three years old? What, five years ago? He sounds a little older than eight. <laughs> all right, well, we all get the... Uh, no, the no. He had to grow up fast after that. Come on, Grinch. Play the res. Just hit the button. Come on. What? Come on. Oh, here, Jeffrey, listen. Listen to this guy on the radio. He wants to talk to you. Here. Jeffrey, take it. Yeah. Wait, let me get him on my lap. Yeah, you're going to have to wait a minute. All righty. <laughs> well, just put the phone near his ear. Jeffrey, come here. Come here, just listen to what this guy has to say to you. <laughs> Jeffrey, there's no Santa Claus. <laughs> Jeffrey, there's no Santa Claus. It's your dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the same reaction as the old lady. Yeah, yeah, they kind of did sound the, the same. Same voice. Bill's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God! What? What happened? <laughs> that is pure evil. Yeah. What happened? Oh my God! I'm better now, man. It's a tough. Isn't that horrible? It's a tough time back then. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Runafez.com. Thanks for being with us today. It is the post Christmas party. Party. Opie and Anthony are here for the Opie and Anthony show in New York City. Uh, to Brian Reagan, a very nice Caroline. <laughs> Look at Apollo in New York. Combing his hair over there in the corner. Looking good, Paulo. <laughs> All right, he's got. I unfortunately had to go to the bathroom uh, oh. after uh, he was in there. Yeah, I clean up nice. That's what I. I'm hey, uh, uh stunk I've so heard that. bad. Hey, guys, yeah. no surprise that he's a Judas Priest fan, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he loves the priest. He's got his Judas Priest uh, concert T-shirt on. That's very nice. Glad you Charles Nelson Riley shirt. The ghost of Mr. Muir. Wonderful, fantastic. Oh, look, I've got another ball in on the center square. Oh, all right, tonight, uh, you know, Obi. Uh, has had one of those uh, the best of times, worst of times nights. Yeah, sure. best of times. He won the uh, Anima joke off. Yeah. Funny fan in the universe. Funny fan in the universe. Way joke. to go! Yeah, it was an excellent joke. Uh, worst of times, you, you made a dominatrix cry and run out of here, right? How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Only Opie. Now Opie not only did that, but you also made your biggest fan. Angel Amy cry. When, after all this time, she's been waiting to talk to you. Yeah, I, I feel and, bad uh, about that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, she has called back ah, if you good. want to talk to her. Okay. Now let her talk and stuff and yeah. let her get it out and then be nice. Okay. Yeah. You don't know how to do this. Okay, I'm sorry. I hey, think Amy. he is sorry this time. <laughs> Amy, I, th I know Opie, and I think he is a little sorry this time because uh, he's used to goofing on the air and stuff. Sure. You know, you hear the show, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's used to goofing and stuff, and I think he, he took it a little too far. So right. if you want to tell him something, go right ahead. And... I don't have anything to say right now. How do you feel about it? I mean, this was your hero, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess. And what did he say? What part hurt your feelings? The only thing he said to me. Yeah, what was that? He said he didn't care about my life or something like that. No. Yeah, I, I, yeah that was it. I don't know how that would be taken. But, Amy, you know, you know how uh, it is sometimes. He just right. says these things, like he said, to the dominatrix. Right. And, and it just happens. Tell your mom. Tell your mom. you got to understand that. And yeah. uh, I think I think if you, you two got off on the wrong foot. Yeah. Uh-huh. It happens. So would you like That's to say good. anything else to him? Or? I don't think so. He's right here. Opie, would you I, like to say something, perhaps? Angel Amy, yeah. I know you're still a fan, right? Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't understand how much you like him. That's what I think it right. is. Yeah, you I think that earlier. I don't yeah, think he made it clear. clear. Yeah, it wasn't made clear, so he didn't know. He thought it was like a joke. Or yeah, I, I could tell that you liked him, but I don't think it was coming across yeah. to Opie. You really do like him, uh, Amy? Yeah. Yeah, see? Oh, see, now he's shaking his head like, yeah, I know. Mm. He feels mm -hmm. bad. He's he not knows. talking to us. Now he feels he bad and yeah. stupid and everything. It's a mistake, Amy. You know how that is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Would you like to tell him how you, uh, it's Angel Amy. Angel Amy. Uh, would you like to right. tell him maybe how, uh, how you feel about him? Um. I think being honest would be the best thing here. I don't know exactly what to say right now. How do well, you feel, how do you feel your about heart. him? Yeah. yeah. Do you love him? Um, I don't know. I don't really, uh, I guess. Um, Stacy? Yeah. 
Angel, Amy, Angel, Amy, Angel, Amy, Angel, Amy, Angel, Amy, Angel, Amy, Angel, 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 there's a good way to start. Fondness. Do you feel fondness for opening? I like them a lot, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Amy, is it a situation where you can't wait for the opening Anthony show right. to come on in New York? You, yeah. You wait for the show to start? Yeah. Yeah. And then you hear his voice and you feel all happy. <laughs> What's some of the favorite things Opie does that you like to... Um, that made you... That attracted you to him on the air? Do you listen all the time? Yeah. yeah. In your PJs? <laughs> You listen in your PJs? Well, it's right after school, so... Nice. Do you oh, run home? Okay. you run home from school? Put on those PJs? <laughs> I don't run home, but... Guys, guys this, this, is, this is very serious, please. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 so after school, you run home and you make sure you, you catch our show every day? Yeah. Monday See? through Friday. That's yeah. nice. That, you, you don't miss many breaks, right? No. Mm. You might want to get a life, but... Um, oh, oh. Opie... Actually, I don't listen that much anymore because I work, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. But you go to like to the, the chat room party. You go to the stuff. chat room. Yeah. I'm on the message board. Message, yeah. message right. board. Right. Right. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Right. right. Message board, yeah. Yeah. Why would a chat room have a party? Right. Right. That's silly. Yeah. Now you're just being plain silly. Message board. No, Opie, she cares a lot about you. Yeah. Now, let, let, why don't you uh, let her tell you how she feels? Okay. Yeah. Amy, go ahead. No, I don't want to say anything right now. Why? This is your, like, big chance. Yeah, I know. You know, it's the middle of the night. Yeah, it's just a bunch of friends sitting around. You know how many, like, people call up? So you got to set yourself apart. Tell them how you feel. Well, I told them, yeah. You care a lot about them? You I, think about them a lot? You ever have dreams I, I'm a about little, them? I'm a little confused. What part hurt? Like, um... The part oh, that I, that might have hurt, so I I could learn and stuff. Yeah, let them know. The, well, the I, words that might have on this. Very if I say anything, you'll probably say something mean right back. So no, can you trust no, them? Why can't no, you no. trust? See, a relationship yeah. has to be uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. trust. It's about a lot of trust. Lead yeah. with your heart. That's what I say. Right. I heard okay. you say that yeah. too. That's a lot what I do. I That's the only heart. way you can mend. Yeah. Right, you mend. Or was it lead with your coke straw? Which one of I, I used to lead with my coke straw. Right. I was hard coke straw, one or the other. Thin. But I, I'm better now. You know that. <laughs> I know. I'm making progress. I know. <laughs> well, like I wasn't up until four in the morning looking at this <laughs> salt from a pretzel on the ground going, I think that's a rock. Uh, sometimes it was. <laughs> sometimes it was. In odd situations, I found it to be that way. <laughs> and now I'm better. Um, Patty? Patty! And no. it's not Patty. Oh, it's Amy. Amy. Opie? Yeah? Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you. Amy? What? what what's you wrong? You sound down. Yeah. I'm fine. Amy? What? I didn't take my Zola off today. I apologize. Ah, that's... Uh, that is nice, because he wouldn't even apologize to the dominatrix. Yeah. 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 He's pissing off so many women tonight. <laughs> So, are you okay with that, Amy? Uh-huh. Amy? What? Amy? What? You all right? No, that is her name, right? Yeah. Amy? What? What do you want to say? Nothing. But you sound sad. I'm fine. But you know, the serious posts only about Amy on the message board tonight. Please, serious posts only. I think Amy should apologize for making Opie apologize. Right. I, I got to agree the with that one. The double apology. I feel bad. Amy? What? You don't sound sad enough. All right. Go ahead, say it. Why should I have to apologize? Hmm? Why should I have to apologize? Because you really like him. So? But I don't really know you. So? I don't really know you either. What if you made Opie something nice for Christmas? Homemade. Right. A homemade gift. Like a girl suit. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Carol's <laughs> tanning wig and lipstick. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look how Paul Ellis looks like he's sitting backstage now after his big show. <laughs> the guy <laughs> makes up his home. The big game. The home court. The home show yeah. just oh. hanging out. We killed, you know, and we really, we blew him away. I think we pulled it off tonight. Yeah. I think we reached a new level. <laughs> Amy, you still down? Yeah. I hope he's waiting. Amy, it's a radio show. you got to speak up a little. Um, you got to uh, speak your piece. I'm, I'm a little confused. Why are you confused? See, he's confused now. Because I don't know why you're upset. Uh, no reason. I'm not upset. I mean, how, I how, like, what happened? Nothing. But, but we can't leave it like this. Why not? Because you sound sad. I'm fine. And I care about people's feelings deeply. I think he does. Yeah. I'm not sad. I'm fine. But if you don't share, then how do I really know? I am fine. And you don't sound fine. What do you want me to do? I'm fine. Tell me what I did wrong. Nothing. Obviously, he did something because your voice sounds a little, you know, sad. No, I'm fine. No, it's late. It's sad. I could tell. Tears it, welling up in your eyes. She didn't really. say it's fine. It, you can tell it's not fine. Right. You can tell because, you know, she was in here on our show one night, the night she licked Opie's microphone. Right. And it was yeah. a much different tone. She was very happy She's that just happy and happy and yeah. fun. Yeah. I heard yeah. that show. And, and yeah. now it's right. the, the down Amy where it's like, nothing, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, speak up. You got to let us know. Let Opie know. I don't want to let Opie know anything. I see. Yeah, that sounds angry. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Angry, Amy. Best. I heard the anger. Yeah. Amy? Yeah. And I hear pain. Amy? A little yeah. pain. A little yeah. pain. Yeah. Amy? What? Did I ruin it? Sure, yeah. I didn't ruin it? Oh, oh. you ruined it. Oh. What, mm. what did I say? I don't remember what I said. Where do you go from there, man? Yeah. 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 Amy? What? What did I say? Nothing. I need to learn by my, by my mistakes. He's so insensitive. No, I didn't say anything. Angel, Aww. Amy, how do you think you could make this up, though? Sounds hurt. What? Yeah, you really did hurt my feelings. Oh, okay, yeah. Why don't you break something in your house? <laughs> that, that'll be smart, that might yeah. Help. I think that that's a good idea. So you look up. You Just look to up. let it out. Right. Yeah, that would be a good way for us to know what where, where your anger yeah. level is. A lot know. of people do different things like that. Paul Lowe, he lets it out with sure. an enema bag. <laughs> right. So that's different. Yeah. yeah That'll so come later. That'll like come later, I'll just honey. throw my cell phone across the room, right? Yeah. Uh, now she's going to oh, hurt herself. No, no. Now so don't hurt, hurt yourself. I, well, that would be a start. Don't no, worry. I said my cell phone, not myself. Amy, oh, Amy, is your, is your Christmas tree up? No. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I was going to recommend no, I'm not you Jewish. Mm -hmm. right, she's Jewish. You're happy now, Brian? Oh. No, 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 I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. Okay. Amy. I'm, Amy. What? What's What's around your room? Give me I'm a not, little... I'm not in my room right now, actually. Where are you? Kitchen? No. I'm, living uh, room? Bathroom? Yeah. Attic? Are you living hovering room in midair? The living room downstairs on my living computer. Room. What's around you that maybe you could just take out some... Giant closet. Yeah. Nothing. You're in a void. It's a white room like yeah, you doesn't want to spend I'm not going to break anything. Nothing? I'm not going to break anything. Uh, except it, that heart of yours. Yeah. Express your anger. No, I don't need to. I'm not angry. Oh. You just don't like me anymore? And uh, my, I don't know. Angel Amy, the... Oh, she doesn't I'm, know. That means yes, Opie. I'm sure, Amy, you've had this conversation several times in your imagination. That exactly. when you right. the time you would finally get to talk to Opie. Right. That's finally. Didn't go right. This way, I yeah. guess. No, I'm sure it, it, you didn't imagine like it like this. this. Not exactly. How was you, no motion running? Or how did you beach? imagine it happening? I really don't know. Was it more like, that was a wonderful meal. Now let's get in the limo. Not yeah, really. No. One no. of those right. things. Hey, that's my night, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amy, it seems like you had some kind of uh, image in your head. Right. Why don't you tell us? You fantasized about this. I have, huh? Was, yeah. it, was it Opie and Nick Carter fighting over you? No. I had that drink. Really? <laughs> yeah. With me, it's always Nell Carter. <laughs> really? Yeah. Odd. <laughs> um... I guess it's, Isn't that the one where she runs out because Opie says she looks like Shirley Hempel? Oh, <laughs> so right? So mean. And ruined it. It ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined it. So we're going to ruin it. Well, it looks like uh, <laughs> we can't mend this fence. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling uh, sad, man. Now we got to, yeah. I'm down. We, yeah. Amy's not trying. Or she's not even crying. <clears throat> you got to meet Opie halfway. Okay. Yeah. Opie, any... Uh, I I don't even know her. 
Any advice? You want to invite her in? Hey, come in and sit in with the show? She could sit, sit in on our year? show. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> What not, is, there's plenty of room. In? There's plenty of room in your in your area. There, she can hand you cards. People we don't know come in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strangers. <laughs> Comic book rich comes in. Convicted <laughs> felons stop by your show. Right. <laughs> what about your biggest fan? What about it, Opie? Um, Amy, would you like to come in to the show? I don't know. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Now, Say it, Amy. now. Amy, wait, hard to get. Don't think with the emotion that's yeah. going through your yourself right now. Oh, think with reaching the mind in your heart. Would well, you I like think, to come in? I think that would be cool. That would be cool. So, so that's a yes. You'd so love be, yes. to come in. Yeah, I would Great. like to. All right, Opie, she would love to come in to to sit that's in great. on the show. What do you think? Um. Mm, what? Hey, next week, what were you going to say? Tuesday. Um, how about, uh... That week between Christmas and New Year's? When was it? Yeah, December 19th would be good. The 19th? Yeah. Wait a minute, we go on vacation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, 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 Obi, when are you going to come in? That's, uh, not an oh, invitation. Jeepers. It's an invitation. This is horrible. Did Blood. someone here just say jeepers? Yeah. It's an, <laughs> an invitation to you, humiliation. Yeah. Say you, Brian? Jeepers. Amy? Yeah. Jeepers. You yeah. didn't finish it. <laughs> you got it. Well, if I was really upset, I would have thrown that in as well. Any jeepers needed the creeper. <laughs> Amy, I don't know what went wrong tonight. I, I, uh. Yeah, neither did I. Yeah. Uh, you got off on the wrong foot, but I think that this can be fixed. Uh huh. You know, I, I, I sense you have a lot of feelings for Opie, and I, I'm I'm really feeling something here with Opie sitting here that he really cares about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you don't sound uh, convinced. No, it's not that. Well, Jeepers Creepers, I think <laughs> something can happen here. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. Thanks. Watch the language. Dump out of that. What's that you got out a out jump of... button, don't you? This ain't uh, L.A., Mr. Filthy. <laughs> <laughs> in the Big Apple. We don't play that game. <laughs> that would you kind of language you use. It's Caroline. <laughs> Jeepers Creepers. The late shows. What of the children? The late shows. It gets a little looser. You're working your comedy speakeasies. <laughs> Listen, Dad Gummit. Good My golly, God, Miss Molly, you. would you watch the <laughs> language? Amy, you you have a date on the 19th. Dress mm. up pretty and come yeah, in. Great. Come on down. All right? Mm-hmm. We'll be on uh, vacation, but... Uh, yeah, I know. You can she, can wait. she can wait in your office. You can sit in our chairs. That's okay. <sighs> All right. Amy, is your picture up on the uh, board? I think so. We have a yeah. picture of her somewhere around here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Punch that up and show Opie. He'll change his mind. Lickety split. Oh, we had the if Yanks. If I may use lickety split, uh, we had. <laughs> we, I don't want to rip you off or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we had a page up of all the uh, girls, uh, and they made us yank it down because they were all under 14. <laughs> God damn people. Well, I, know, I, like I think I we checked some things out. Oh, you really don't have to show him my picture. Why? Why? Maybe he'll like you. Come on now, Amy. No, my Pictures, nothing for him to look at. You're what? pretty. Look at your picture. You're pretty. No, you, you really, really are. No, don't show him it. Can you say, eh, eh, eh? No. <laughs> okay, just wondering. Where's that up, Hick? Oh, she's late. Thanks, Miss Jenny's guy. Right. Get it for us? Yeah. I have to upload it again. I took it down. What's that? Oh, what's that? Upload. 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 Computer <laughs> <channel. laughs> upload. So, dot com. They were talking about it. Enemas again? Yeah, that was Paul Lowe. <laughs> yeah. We uploaded Paul Lowe. Right. Jenny, that's the enema oh, bag. Yeah, we're looking for something now. <laughs> <laughs> then he quickly downloaded it. It was very right. disgusting. Angel Amy, hold on. We're going to come back to you, all right? We're going to take a little break. We'll have time to upload. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, Brian uh, says, very special. Yes. Honorfest.com Ron and Fez dot com. Okay, fuck it. What's next? The house and what's going on? Is this Opie? Yeah, let's go, everybody. Oh, wait a minute. Turn on your radio. Everyone. Is this Opie? Yeah, it is. Hi. Hi, Opie. Um, I've been waiting to speak to you for a year, five days, two hours, three minutes, and nine seconds. I had to write all this down because 
I was thinking about it for a while, so I just wanted to tell you that um, you were saying something about people not liking you when you first got on, but don't they know that you're just one of those newfangled oases in, in the jungle? Uh, the water in the in the Central Park Lake being... Wait a minute. Uh, 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 I thought we had an ice-cold Guinness. Uh, that's my analysis, anyway. Um, also, uh, I just want to tell you that I, I want to be a psych mate. So I've been listening to you, and um, I was driving just before behind a guy with green hair, but I I didn't notice what kind of car he was driving, which would have been pretty interesting just to analyze the whole thing in front of me. But anyway, I I think I've added something special to your show, so... Can we see your stuff? Am I talking too much? (laughs) Okay, Pookie. Can we see your stuff? Hello? Can we see your stuff? Well, um, what kind of stuff? Can we see your stuff? Well, you know, I, I do like to write. Do you, can, do you think you can get me together with a, a musician so that I can show him some of my song stuff? Virgin. Use it or lose it. Hello? Use it or lose it. Now, I really find you guys very entertaining, and I, and I, and I like listening to you. Pull it down. Okay. Opie, are you there? Okay, you stupid bitch. Opie? You're not using the language right now. Stupid! No, we're here. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay, I'm, I'm doing like three things at once right now. That's another reason why I had to write all this down, because I figured when you got on the radio, finally, I would know what it is that I want to say to you in particular. Uh, there's somebody at the door. Can you hold on? Yeah. Give her! Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, what a psychopath. She doesn't like you, Anthony. Great. What? What did I say? Oh, oh nothing. You sound great. Oh, okay. No, no, no. you got to shut that off. I'm on the radio. Yeah, turn off the radio. Yeah, my kid just walked in. Oh, it's short. No, it's in front of everybody. Yeah, my, my little boy's been wanting to talk to you for months. What are you people? On dope? Of course we're on dope. Hello, Anthony. Okay. Hello? Yeah, we're listening to you. It's time. Hey, you guys. <laughs> you, you... It's time. <laughs> Don't pay attention to them. They're just jealous. Really? Oh, you listen, see? I took the You time. see? Your stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. No. no. Opie? No! But sex. Hey, Opie? Yeah? I wanted to tell Spaz. I said to Spaz that I wanted to... <laughs> Wait a minute. I... Hello? Yeah. I said to Spaz that I wanted to tell um, Opie the, what my analysis uh, is of the show. Pusa! 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 And what did he say to you? And I and he said, "Well, what is it?" So I said, "Well, you're a I bet you'd like to suck it, wouldn't you? The big yellow one's a son. Opie? Uh, <laughs> you use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore. <laughs> Opie? Uh, <laughs> you use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore. <laughs> Opie? Uh, <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes? Okay. Yeah. So I told you that... I'm over here now. I want to see how. You can't now. Rondo para que no te vendo de la rico suave. Opie? Yeah. You're fired! Yes. Okay. Ouch. So I told Spaz Ouch. what my analysis was of the show. And Spaz. Oh, God. And right after I told him, that, you know, they just show just like oh, a new my thing. Oh, um, Oasis in, in the, the concrete jungle. She said, so what's your analysis of the show? Oh, so God. Oh, God. You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> Have you? Oh, well, oh, well, you know, one day I walked into the building and one of the uh, starters said to me, Allison, you want to see a picture of me naked? And I said, no, I've got to go pull it my husband. But, sick. Really? Well, you can get, you know, I mean. Like having your back up. Opie? Yeah. That's Georgia! That's Georgia! Opie, I've got Georgia! to write a term paper. I can't talk to you. Georgia! That's Georgia! Opie? 
That is so lame. <laughs> okay, terrific. Um. <laughs> Uh, hey. Yes, Allison. Hey. So, um, Annie, hang, hang up. Hi, Alfie. Hi. Andre, hang up. Do you like having your back rubbed? <laughs> hang up. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. Yeah. Very. Okay. Yeah, Allison? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're listening to you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You can't hear us? I can't hear you now. Is that so? Who made you poop in this dump, huh? <laughs> Alfie? Alfie, is Anthony there? Uh, no, he left the building like 10 minutes. You know, the other day, I was walking around and I thought I saw Anthony outside. Oh, really? Yeah. Does, that, does he do that and leave you alone in there? Uh, yeah, so I can whack my junk. Opie, I can't tell what the recording is and what's you. This is my voice right here. Okay, is that Anthony? Uh, no, this is Anthony's voice right here. All right, listen, I, I, I just want to tell you that um, we all get a great laugh. Hell, you want me to hear? No, no, baby. No, come on. I'll get up to you. No. Hello, Opie. Hello. But dang. <laughs> What's up? But dang. Are you like having your background? Do you like having your background? Yeah. Oh, level loud, level loud, come on. Come on. Uh -huh. I got it from a Negro. Uh-huh. Shut up! Oh, yeah? Shut up! Oh, yeah? yeah. Shut up! Shut up! Uh-huh. Ouch. Mmm, stick it in my mouth. Shut up! Yeah, hang on. Back off. I've been talking to you for a long time. What? You're Can I talk to Mommy again? I wanted to talk to him for a long... Can I talk to you for a long time? All right, we're going to go there. Tell, All right. Tell, tell your mommy thank you. All right. Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic Hello? loser. <laughs> Allison? Opie, I can't tell what's the recording today and what's for real. None of it was a recording. Oh, uh, you mean that lady that just called up, the one you were saying was drunk? Okay, and that she stupid. Put, put her teeth okay, back into her mouth stupid. and everything. She, she was really on just now? Gay. You are gay. You <laughs> can't put that on when I'm on the radio. <laughs> Opie? Those men wanted to have sex with me. You want to have sex with me? Opie. Yeah. Um, I've got two finals on Thursday. Can you please wish me luck? What? Do you want to have sex with me? I didn't say that. No, I'm asking you. Do you are you are you are you saying something, or is this another little spurt of recording? Would Would you like to have sex with me? With who? Is this Opie or Anthony? Hey, where are the white women at? <laughs> Sex with me? Who's saying that? How'd you like to mow my lawn? Huh? What do you want on this wall? Whose lawn? What wall? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to start. No, you have to you have to wait. Are you happy with our large boobs? Are you are you happy with your large boobs? Oh, yeah, I've got to go. I've got oh, to you're very to go. naughty. Oh, you're very naughty. So 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 when are we gonna have sex? I, are you for real? Yeah, when you want to do it, man. I I can hardly hear you. When you want to have sex, I don't want to. No, hear no. I, I, hey, you know, I, I mean, I'd get in trouble if I did that. Why? You married? Yeah. No. no the last time I I looked, I was anyway. Don't joke. Well, he doesn't have to know. I can't hear you. He doesn't have to know. I can't hear you. <laughs> he doesn't have to know. He doesn't have to know. Oh, I heard that. Um, but he, he just—he knows closer. everything. I, I don't have to say anything. He—he he follows me around. Allison. Yeah. Put the phone closer. I want to say something to you. It's as close as it gets. You sure? No one else is listening to that. Mm, nothing I know. Of. All right, because we're not on the radio anymore. Wait a minute. My daughter's tapping on the counter. Go ahead. All right. Listen closely, okay? Uh, do you want to 
want me to respond? <laughs> Did you hear that? I heard it. Is that a turn on? What? This is Anthony. I know this is Anthony. <laughs> Anthony? I know your biological sounds anywhere. It's a little joke! Guys, I gotta go. I got important business to take care of. Be quiet, sir. Be quiet, sir. Allison? Guys? Are you, are you listening? Allison? Listen, I just read a good book. It's called Eternal Outlaw okay. by Georgina Gentry. All right, Allison. You have to order it, though, if you want to get a copy of it. All right, Allison? Uh-huh. It's just me and you again, okay? Are you listening closely? Allison? Allison? Don't, don't hang up. Allison? Hello? Andrew, hang up. Hey. Guys, I gotta go. I'm sorry. All right, I'll you gotta take the next call. Right. I'll be listening bye, to you. Bye, I'll be. All right, bye. Okay? Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, what? It was different? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Hey, there's many uh, Allison's, Allison's getting All right, I just, so. I, I drew my own conclusion, but okay. Excuse me, but I do believe that stuff's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, terrific. Uh, Billy from airsick.net. What's up, Billy? Hey, guys. <laughs> Good to see Child Protective Services out there doing their job. Yeah, no, no ass. It's so funny that we're playing phone calls from people that we're jerking around. And she calls up. <laughs> she can't figure it out. <laughs> she can't figure it out. I was thinking the same thing as you, Anthony. I was like, oh, she's got the house now, huh? Yeah. Jesus, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she does for spare time. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, you guys were a big hit in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? What's Pittsburgh? going on there? You guys made the news in Pittsburgh with the radio edit gag order. Oh, really? Yep. And what? they mentioned you by name. Why is everyone picking up any uh -oh. oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. They'll punch out of that. Now I'm banned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why everyone's making a big deal out of that story. No, because uh, Paul, Paul was telling me about it. He was in Pittsburgh. It was the top of the news story about the whole gag order. And then, then they mentioned you guys by name and how you're not allowed to mention it. Radio yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, he, I heard him this morning talking about talking about man cow. <laughs> Won't mention you guys though, but mentions man cow. Oh, yeah. We don't need him to mention. He's us. a pay. Never mind. Yeah. But you guys, you, you guys are getting syndicated out there. We're not getting syndicated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're getting syndicated through newscast at this point. <laughs> Orlando, are you on the phone? <laughs> yeah, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, Bill. Hey, listen, guys, take care. All right, man. Later, man. Later. Bye. There goes Billy from Airsick.net. Okay, and we got to take a break. <laughs> Andy from uh, New Jersey. Where else can you find an 84-year-old lady that plays piano, tells dirty jokes, and likes anal? Thanks. Oh, man. remember her? Of course we do. That was fun. Mm. <laughs> what the? Wait a minute. What was that? Wow. I was just playing my nose. That was your nose? Yeah. No, I can't do it on command. <laughs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> That was nice. A call from Kathy Bates. No one was scary about that. She didn't, she could care less about you. I like when the psycho the psycho people are into both of us. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, she was all yours, there's, man. There's better odds to get away. <laughs> she was. Both of us. She was all yours. And what's more frightening, she had the child. Oh. Who likes having his back rubbed? He likes having your back rubbed. All right. Well, that was a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll uh, we'll be back. Okay, faggot, what's next? All right, and uh, it's Peter Goodman's son. Peter Goodman's son from from two years ago. After we trashed his dad, yeah, uh, his son calls up to defend his dad. This gets ugly. We were just miserable. Is it good? It's good. All right, let's play. <laughs> Hi, who's this? This is Peter Goodman's son. All right, and what do you got? Okay, uh, wait, who is this? Opie and Anthony. Oh, hello, Opie and Anthony. You're on um, the air, by the way. I am? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Now, I just wanted to say, um... Hey, can we talk to your father? No, he's at work. What is he writing today? What's he writing? I don't know. What's he writing? Not busy. And his line's not busy, because we just talked to him. Oh, oh, oh you're, you're claiming that none of our listeners are trying to call him cute. Okay, go ahead. Okay. How old are you? I'm 14. All right. You better not say anything bad about my dad anymore. Okay, just listen. Now, I just, I don't want to, like, call you out or anything. But just, 
You were saying that my dad doesn't do any research about it and he doesn't pay attention to the facts? Yeah, before you move on, did you read the paper today? Uh, yeah, a little. Okay, uh, the first line he says, in the continuing sad tale of the decline of classic rock or NW. <laughs> is NW a classic rock station? Yeah. No, it's not. Well, I don't understand that. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, you said your father does research. He didn't do his research. It's not a classic rock station. Okay, here we go. In continuing sad tales of the decline of Why am I talking to a 14 year old about this? Jesus. Well, geez, you know what? I'm probably Why smarter are you than you to are. This station? Your so anyway. Calls us losers. Give me your home number so I can call uh, your father. What? Give me your home number so I can call your father. I'm not going to give you my home number. Why? Why? Yeah, the listeners want to talk to your dad tonight. I could care less what the listeners want. You obviously care because you're calling us. All right, continue. I'm calling you because I care what you say about my dad on the air. Hey, do you have any hair? Yes, I've got plenty of hair. It's not I'm not be... going bald like you guys probably are. It's not going to be there for long. Excuse me? That's genetic, you know. You see your father's... I know I'm going to go bald. I don't give it. That's your reality staring you in the face when you see his picture. Now, when was that Top taken, by the way? Listen, I see my dad every day. I know he's bald. And right, I know I'm going to go bald. All right, when was the picture taken uh, for the news they column? Because most of these columnists, they have a photograph taken like 1960, and they just, you know, keep it for 38 years. Oh, uh, no, this is a pretty recent picture. Well, it was taken on your third birthday? Uh, no, like two months ago. Okay, go ahead. Listen, he does do the research because every time I get into the car with him, he turns on 1027. Right. And he listens to you guys. Right. And he like and he's always talking to me about like uh the different radio stations and he's always like arguing with me about the different styles. And I would listen to your station and the music I hear, it sounds like classic rock. Hey, does your mom have a boyfriend? <laughs> listen, your station sucks crap, okay? And you freaking talk about my mom or my dad. Water out. Okay? <laughs> All right, you're, you're a funny kid. Oh, yeah, you're a funny shithead, too. <laughs> Continue. Uh-oh. Hello? We lose him. Okay, faggot, what's next? I love this. We got someone in Boston checking in. Ryan, what's up? Ryan. Oh, man, hey. I need this guy in the air. Brian. Brian. Brian, you there? Ryan or Brian or... This guy, you. Hello? Yeah. What's your name, bro? <laughs> you just said hello, you dick. This thing is way off, huh? What? Hey, hey, dude, dude, dude. Oh, my God, he's listening to the radio. Dude, dude. We're not talking about sticker stops anymore. You're live on the air. What an ass. Hey, stupid, turn the radio off. Uh, this, you know, you know how annoying this is, but it intrigues me every time. All right, I got to finish it and see where it goes. Well, we're going to say hi to him in a second. Yeah, listen, let's listen. We're on like a two-minute delay or something. Let's listen. All right, uh, to the guy that's... Like has the phone to his ear and he's listening to the radio at the same time. We are talking to you I now. I want to hear him answer. I want to hear him answer when we go to the phone. All right, let's listen, Because then he'll hear his name and go, huh? He's going to answer himself. Brian? Not yet. Here we go. Come on. Wow, what a delay in Boston, huh? They don't trust us at all anymore, no. Boston. I thought the delay in New York was bad. He'll hear his name soon, and then he'll start answering the radio like an idiot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Listen, all right, there's uh, the music back. Now you took the call. Mm -hmm. You guys coming in Boston checking in. Ryan, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? You idiot. What a dickbag. Yeah. What an ass. Yeah. What a dick. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Shut up. How are you? Hello. <laughs> what? What an idiot you are, dude! I can't hear you on my phone. My phone is on the greatest phone in the world. Well, 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 Jackass Ryan, don't you realize that? Hey, stupid! I have the radio off. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy fool! <laughs> That is great. Is he, is he still there? Ryan. Ryan. I know you're talking to me. My phone stinks. <laughs> Hello? He's still talking to the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Hello? Ryan. 
Yes. Ryan. Ryan. On the phone, stupid. <laughs> on the phone, you idiot. He's talking Who talks to their radio? No one talks to their radio. You're on the phone with them. Oh. Yeah. You. <laughs> I yeah, you're love it. Listen, he's talking to the radio. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, my God. He's still... It's going to go around again. I know. Talk to him again. He, will he be smart enough to hear himself and go, Hey, me! That's me! Why are you talking to me, too? Yeah, there, there, there's where it happened. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. And now he's laughing at himself. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Ryan. Ryan. Oh, funny. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Oh, funny. What a bunch of idiots. Ryan. Ryan. Yes. <laughs> He's still answering to the radio. He's answering to the radio. <laughs> you are the biggest tool Brian. we've ever had on the air. Brian. Brian. Hello. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. answer us. Brian. Mike. Hey, Ryan. Brian. I can't hear you from the phone. <laughs> Listen. I can't. Hear you through the phone. <laughs> Why? Just want to tell you, the Celtics are going to spank the Knicks, and Jason Kidd is a wife beater. <laughs> oh, what a dope! Oh. What a moron! <laughs> Knicks, they're not even playing the Knicks. That's classic, though. Uh. That is classic. <laughs> <laughs> what a complete ass! There you go, Boston. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Go to Greg. Greg, what's going on? Uh oh. Hey, Greg. Hello. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Boy, that was quick. Yeah. As long as you're doing, I learned. Uh, I got one of those too. Yeah. Uh, I learned that some of your uh, some of the old listeners haven't been uh, purged, so they so they just can't get through on the phone. That's the lady. Okay, that, terrific. That's the lady that just called. Okay, the terrific. For twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay, we terrific. To get it. Okay, the way, terrific. Drunk, uh, <laughs> oh, my. Come on. The old drunk uh, woman that you had on there that was crying and stuff, I think her name was uh, Edith's uh, wife. Okay, terrific. Okay, <laughs> terrific. All right. Uh, next okay, week, you're going to do terrific. that live... Uh, How would you like to mow my lawn? You're going to do the Thursday huh? and Friday live reads? <laughs> the what? The live shows. Live. Thursday and Friday. Live shows. Yeah, you're going to do the whole four hours live. I am stupefied, <laughs> man. Um, live shows from Boston? Boston, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to do them live? Okay. Or are you going to be like the, uh, like the road oh, shows God. where, you know, you only pump, you know, come in for a couple of minutes at a time and then play that you the work The big them. yellow one's a son. So let me get this straight. You're calling because uh, that other lady was really stupid because we what? Uh, well, you know, if uh, I was on the phone for like 40 minutes, so you've gone through like 15 different things since then, so at this point, it, no, most of it doesn't make any sense, so I'm trying to keep no, no, it. No, makes sense. Boring. You thought that lady was really stupid because she couldn't, um, you know, um, uh, figure out that we were playing clips while we were talking to her, right? Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It'd be a, it, it would be a, a very stupid person that couldn't figure that out, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so that was my... Uh, excuse me, but I do believe that's... The things I learned today. Oh, that's a good... So, you but as are far as since that didn't work <laughs> out, I figured as long as I was still on, that I asked about right. Thursday and Friday. What? Right. Your major malfunction, uh, I, I sort of uh, understand what you're trying to say. Right. You know how you do when you the radio show? Yeah. You don't do the... Uh, the road show, I mean, you, you only come on the air like for five, ten minutes at a time. Shut up! You're not on for four, four hours. Shut up! You, so that, play, you play worst of. So that lady was really stupid because she, uh, <laughs> she couldn't figure out that uh, we were playing the clips. Right? Oh, oh, help me! Help me! Help me! Somebody 
me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Greg? Yes. What? I wanted to know about next week as long as I was oh, on the air. Oh, he's desperate. Do what he say. Next Do week, what he say. Next week we'll be live from Boston Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna and uh, you're gonna be live for the whole four hours, right? You're not gonna just come on for ten minutes or whatever, and then because you're, you're gonna be in the brewery, right? With a fine chamois, and I want them now. Chop, chop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be on uh, for the whole four hours. But this whole okay, place that's sucks. What I that's right. It sucks. It seems like an intelligent question. Uh, because yeah. I, <laughs> I know when you do the road shows, like when you when you were at the other road show, that you only came on the air for like yeah. ten minutes. Sure. You did a couple of things or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm. Uh, I'm just a little. I'm kind of stupefied because, like you, I can't believe that lady didn't uh, figure out that we were playing clips while we were talking to her. Mm -hmm. You know. You have a good show tomorrow. Cool. All right, Greg. Take care. Bye. Wow. <laughs> Holy smoke. That, that man was... On some form of dope. <laughs> uh, Mike from Queens. I learned today that Opie and Anthony are not taped before a live studio audience. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop defending our listeners on the New York radio message board. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right. <laughs> and I learned that uh, Molly Hammer rocks. Molly Hammer. Yeah. I learned that you could play hours of flashback clips when you don't plan the show and still call it a success. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Lewis. Hey, Lewis. We, no. got, we actually planned this stuff. Yeah. We had a whole schedule in front of us. Play Drunken Lady at 520. I laughed my ass off anyway. Thank you. All right, Anthony. Well, yeah, I think we should, uh, should leave the studio, take some deep breaths. I think we should leave. Come back tomorrow feeling rejuvenated. I think we should leave the broadcasting to the professional. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Hello. Hello. How you doing? Okay. You're calling about the job. Right. Uh, what's uh, What's your experience in this field? I worked for a landscaper for like three years. And yeah. before that, you know, I mowed the lawn at my house and stuff. Yeah. I did the, uh, you know, the edging. The last, uh, the last job I was on, I did the edger, and uh, I did the bushes with the, uh, the clippers. You, uh, you know how to work that big uh, blower thing? Uh, I never, I never got to use that thing, the blower. No. But you know how to trim bush. I know how to trim the bushes, and I know how to work the, uh, the edger thing. What's the biggest bush you've ever trimmed? Uh, pretty big. Was it like a 70s Earth Mama Moth or? Like a what? 70s Earth Mama Moth. It's a little lingo in the business. I'm like sorry. an edge. Like nah, a, I don't know edge. the, uh, I don't know what they were called. Was it like a bush that was shaped in like, um, the, like shape, a, the shape of like a Hitler mustache? Like a Hitler mustache? No. Yeah, like a hedge, you know. No, like big though, like, uh, like round. It was like a nice landing strip? Like whenever anything custom had to do, my boss, uh, did it, Manny. Can you handle the big cans? So what, carry and stuff? Yeah, we fill them up and put them in the truck, you know what I mean? Like handling the, the big cans. Yeah, I can carry that stuff. I can carry anything. So you're good the with, only, the only thing with cans? Yeah. Then you're good at blowing? Well, I told you, I never did the blowing machine. But you're willing to learn how to blow? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. All right, good. Yeah, I'll blow. probably use that. Where do I go down? Like, uh, do I have to uh, fill out an application or anything? Or mail something in? It says something here about uh, an address. Yeah, you got the address there? Yeah. Okay, good, good. And what's your name? Can I get your name? Yeah, yeah. John Huber. All right, John. Yeah, my name's John, too. Um, yeah, if you could possibly maybe, um, I don't know, put some of the bush clippings in an envelope and send it in, that would help us out to see what type of bush you've been trimming. In an envelope? Should I bring it down there or oh, I'll just, just put it in an envelope? Yeah, just mail it to the address, actually. With some of your, um, you know, well, diff what, different ones or just one type? Your qualifications. Actually, what I would do is uh, make it like a collage. 
you know, with all the bush you've trimmed over the years, if you still had that laying around. Right. And, um... Well, I don't have it laying around. I don't, I don't take the crap home. Well... Well, you know, we, we have higher-ups, too, and they just want to see some kind of, uh, you know, foliage. So if I get cardboard... Yeah, get some yeah. cardboard. And glue, like, the different things on it and just put it in one of them big envelopes so I can mail it in and you can check it out? Yeah, and just, like, label, you know, which All is All the which. different bushes that I've uh, done? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, and mail it in there. Should I put my name and any other... Yeah, in? like, uh, yeah, put your name and, and a phone number we can reach you. So we'll we'll take a look at your work and then we'll call you yeah. back. It's going right. to be a pretty big piece of cardboard, though. We're looking at, uh, you know, three feet by about three feet. All right. I don't know if that's going to run to mail, but... All right, John? Three foot. Yeah, three yeah. foot by three foot. Like a big, like one of the things from school, like construction paper, like the yeah. old bags? Yeah. yeah. Can I fold it? Ooh, um, no, ooh. that affects the, uh, the foliage. All right. Actually. Yeah. Just spun a big envelope. All right. If you want, you can bring it down personally. Just uh, go to the address on the uh, ad there. Okay. All right? All right. Your name's John? Yeah, just look for me. All right, John. All right, man. All right, thanks a lot. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I could hold it in. Come on. <laughs> that can't be real. No way. There's no way that could be real. That was a put on. No one could be that stupid. <laughs> if, if, it, if that was real, we just talked to the stupidest man alive. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Hello? Is this Shirak Lahajan? Yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, this is Opie and Anthony uh, from WAF Radio in Boston. We got you on the air. Good. How can I help you? We have an interesting proposition for you. Go ahead. Well, first of all, how do you feel about the fact that we are not bombing Iraq? Uh, that is, should be left to the president to decide, not to me. If he's, a, he's in charge. If he decided, I think it's a good idea. If he's not, that's his decision. Very good. So uh, are you a, an American citizen now? or? Well, well it doesn't make a difference. Uh, as long uh -huh. as I, I believe he's said to be, if I can say my opinion, does not have to do anything with my citizenship. Well, dude, trust me. Uh, whatever answer you give is okay. Saddam's not going to shoot you in the back of the head in this country. <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You can my opinion is, he, you can my opinion is, if the government decide whatever the gov United States government decide, I will support them hundred percent. You can speak openly in this country. That's yeah. why we like exactly it. Exactly what I'm doing over the phone. I, I'm glad everybody's going to hear it. All right. I think it's a government decision to be made, and if the president makes such a decision, I go along with it. And I agree with it. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, now that we're not bombing Iraq, we got a proposition for you. We want to uh, invite you down to the AF studios. Okay. Okay. And we want to. Um, we want you to get bombed. You want to get bombed down here? You uh, drink, or is it some kind of like Arab thing? I don't know what this is going to help me. If you come down, get bombed or no? It, it'll help you. It'll be fun radio. You'll have a ball, and, and maybe we'll get you a, a beautiful woman instead of one of those towel heads. Well, I don't care what they gave me. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Interested. I mean, our our women, when you pull down their pants, they they have like a nice little Hitler mustache. It doesn't look like the Ayatollah's head in her lap or anything. You no, know? we, we could get you a nice hot stripper to dance around naked. You come down and and get bombed. We'll all wear towels on our head. It'll uh, be fun. No comment on that. No comment on that. Come on. We need an Iraqi to come down here to get bombed. Well, why don't you get the, go get one Iraqi? We're trying. That's why we're calling you. Well, you're calling the wrong person, sir. Why? I'm not Iraqi, sir. Oh. What we, are you? What are you, then? Well, I, that let to be known. You called me. You let me know. Uh, you know. Spell your last name. I'm good at this. Yeah, I know. If you have three or four consonants in a row in your last name, you're Iraqi. Well, I, I hope so. If you if you're telling me, I believe you. Dude, come on down here. We want to get you bombed. Uh, just, well, uh, if you don't know who's on the other side of the phone, I don't think you should call him and act like a jackie boy. We'll, we'll bring the, down a camel. You could uh, you could try, you know. Some... Well, I tell you what, you can do with the camel. Get laid with it. Ah, uh, <laughs> no, see that's what you do in your country. Yeah, you can go you, under the you camel. practice you practice uh, driver's ed and sex ed with those damn camels, poor well, I bastards. Tell you, I tell you what, if I find the leprechaun, I will do the same thing with it. Oh, that that's good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> when was the last time you uh you know, had sex? I don't know. Ask your sister. Best part of you dripped down your mom's leg, pal. Uh, hey. What what can I tell you? You were so ugly your mother pushed you back in. Oh, uh, you want to start with the ugly jokes? 
You Come tell on. me, I tell you, you know, you, you call people on the radio station, you, you want no s***, I give it to you, pal. You and call people. You throw stuff on the s*** in your eyes, Tony Brown. Go ahead. Listen, these are cutting-edge jokes there in Iraq. Oh, really? Dude, at least when I pull down my girlfriend's pants, it does look like I have the Ayatollah's head in a leg lock. Oh, well, you never know. It was put to your aunt, your sister. Makes no difference. What? It's not so ugly that push him back in. I got an idea for your women. Soap, look into it. <laughs> well, I like did. Guess what I see? Your mother. And do you help your wife braid her fucking underarm hair or what? What? We don't know. I see your sister. <laughs> What? Because your aunt is going on a ladder, it cannot run away. You know, it's not from your mother, your sister, your aunt, your cousin, your niece, your nephew. Let's go. So you want to count it down? I tell you. Hey, who is a better leg, your sister or the goat that you own? <laughs> well, it was your mother. She bent over and I drive. Hey, dude, when was the last time you took a scud missile to your ass? Well, you ask your sister. When she got it, she goes, oh. I know, I know. Yeah, sister, sister, sister. sister. All right. That's your sister. Come on down, dude. I think we can have some fun with you. We'll we'll get you bombed, bro. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll yeah. get you bombed. Whatever liquor you want to drink, well, well, we'll give to you. All right, all we right. Could, you could drink till you forget all your women are hairy, smelly pigs. Oh, really? Yeah. Where was your mother last time she had her leg? <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> all right. Uh, do we have a deal or what? No, dude, man. Huh? You're running by the clown show. Well, I don't know what show <laughs> you do. Clown show. Get me the program, will you? Okay, Haji. <laughs> Uh, whoever that is, got my answer. I know who he was, but got the drift. Hey, dude, you got to go. They're backing up at the Slurpee machine. <laughs> hey, I told you, he's ringing the bell. No, it's a quarter. All right. Who's next? Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> we are the world. <laughs> wow, so nice. Okay, faggot, what's next? Hello? Uh, yes, I, I'm calling. Is this Yes, it is. What can we do for you today? Uh, yes, I just got a call. Yes. And he gave me my claim number. Uh huh. Um, because I won a prize. Yes, you did. What what uh, claim number did you uh, get? Uh, six five four. Six five four. Three two one. Three two one. Six J. Six J. Yes. Ooh, pretty excited, are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You ever <laughs> you ever win anything before? I've never won anything. Hold on, please. Oh, okay. Dude, tell her she won a European vacation. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That is coming up as a European vacation. A European vacation? Yeah. He had told me something like $10,000. I wish I were you, as a matter of fact, because it's a European vacation for your family plus $10,000 in spending money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, you, are you psyched? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like shaking. This is, this is, oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we have our supervisor here. Okay. He's going to need, uh, I guess, some information, maybe. Hold on. Hi, ma'am. Uh, yes? Hi, this is John Huber, Bill's supervisor. Can I have that number once again, please? we got to verify that you are, in fact, the winner. Yes, it's a 654-321-6J. Uh -huh. 6J? Six J? Oh, yes. I thought you said A, John. You thought? She I thought it was an A. It's, oh. it's 6J? It's 6J as in uh, jump. Oh. All right, we got some good news and bad news. You're, you're still the winner. Okay. But uh, your prize is a set of steak knives. A set of steak knives? Yes, the European oh. vacation for you and your family and the $10,000 oh. spending money is for 6A. Oh. And you'll have to pay for the shipping on the uh, steak knives. Oh, all and right. And that's nineteen ninety five. Okay. Would you like to... Uh... Uh, no, thank you. Oh. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. Well, thank you anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was way too painful, oh, poor man. Poor girl. <laughs> okay, faggot. What's next? Hello. Hi, is Ron there? Oh, I'm sorry. You've got the wrong number. Is this a crap residence, though? Yes. A, I'm looking for a crap because no. I'm a, I have a cab and I'm supposed to be picking up uh, crap and taking to the airport. No. And he is. gave this number. Well, I'm sorry, but it's not. There's no Ron crap? No, no, sir. I'm supposed to take a crap over the airport. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't find him here. Well, who, who gave me this number? This, I don't know, sir. I got to take a crap over at the airport. I was told to pick up a load of crap at that crap house and uh, pick him up uh, around the rear. I'm sorry, but he's not here. There's, There's nobody here. I got to have to check with my dispatcher. 
Because okay. that's the number I got was the crap residence. No. Nope. I, I got crap on the paper right here. I'm sorry, but that, there's nobody here for that name. See, because I got crap all over this paper, and I'm supposed to take crap down to the airport. It's, it's only the number two fare of the day, and it's my duty to take crap over the airport. I don't know. Check with your dispatcher. Somebody got a wrong number. It seems like the right number. Well, I don't know, but they gave it to you wrong. No one there by the name of Ron. No, sir, there's not. Now, how the hell am I supposed to get crap over at the airport? <laughs> I don't know. There's crap on the paper. Yeah, I'm, t I, I'm supposed to be calling crap, and I don't have crap. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have it here either. I need crap. I'm sorry. If, I, I, do you know crap? Have you no, seen crap? I don't. There's no crap at your house. No, nothing at all like that. I'm supposed to take a fam a whole load of crap over to the airport. Well, you so, and they're going to miss their flight, and I, you don't want angry crap. Well, because if they miss their flight, I'm I'm out of luck. Okay, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Ah, wait till my boss finds out. I haven't had crap in my cab all day. You know, lady, I think you're full of. Shit. <laughs> oh man! Uh, what a crappy call that one. <laughs>